Hi everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about some wild games on the Wii. Meaning just some games that have wild in their title and that don't have a series so that I can put them in a separate list. So yeah, just some random Wii games that have wild in their title. Where the wild things are is a tie-in game to the movie. But luckily it's not like the movie. I, I didn't like the movie. The game manages to be a standard platformer with some uniqueness to it. You fight bees and blobs, bees come in different sorts and along the way you use the wild things to solve puzzles. Levels are linear, there are 7 levels in the game and overall it's not a bad game. It still has some of the creepy feeling and somewhat cringe feeling of the movie or at least that's how I perceived the movie but from the gameplay's perspective the game is good. It's an action platformer. Wild Earth African Safari is a good game for kids. The main gameplay element is taking pictures. By pointing the Wiimote, the player needs to take certain pictures. The game tells you what to photograph and how and why some pictures are good and others aren't. You also receive information about animals, which makes the game educational. And to spice things up, you get some mini games, which aren't that well made, but at least they add a little variety. So overall, while the average gamer won't be intrigued by the game, kids will love it. National Geographic Challenge is a delightful game. It's a trivia game. You choose a region on the globe and then you get trivia questions regarding that region and claim parts of the world map if you answer correctly. The description of the game is short, so I just want to emphasize here that it's a really good game if you're into trivia games. You're going to have fun with it, whether you play it alone or with friends and family. Man vs Wild is a tying game to the show. And while the show is great, the game is... eh, not so good. It's some sort of adventure game. What you have to do is roam the small area you have in a level and interact with stuff that prompts you into minigames. You need to complete minigames to keep bear well fed, hydrated and well slept. It's like Tamagotchi, only more extreme. With points you can upgrade bear stats and you can buy new clothing. There are a ton of minigames in the game, which are mostly poorly executed even though there are so many. Also levels are linear corridors that give you the impression of having a little bit of sandbox area. It's, it's just an impression, because the areas are actually pretty small. And interactive objects aren't always obvious, which will make you see early in the game how unpolished the game actually is. So overall, while the game has variety because it has a ton of mini games, that variety is poorly executed, resulting into a bland game that you'll want to play only for the meme, not because you like the game so much. 